Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Offering by Paul Balash off his Christmas worship album. And specifically, we're going to look at the vamp section at the end of this tune. Now, we're only going to look at the vamp, and so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. After the final chorus, we move into a vamp section at the end of the song, and this is where we kind of get that nice gospel feel. You've got that uh, lead singer who's kind of ad-libbing on top. You've got kind of that big black gospel choir singing in the background as well. And basically, we're just giving it kind of a nice gospel and blues feel, and it sounds like this. Two, three, four, one, two, and a three. So right off, that might be a little intimidating for some of you, and the easiest thing to do is just to kind of break it down. Now, there are some little embellishments and things like that that you'll just have to practice and get used to, a lot of little grace notes um, that we're pulling from like the blues scale. So to start off with, all we're doing is just pulsing our chords in our right hand. We're going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. In our left hand, we're gonna walk up, half step up to A, so it's one, two, and a three, four, B flat, two, D flat, E flat, F, two, walk it up, B flat, D flat, E flat. So that right there is one and two and a three. One and two and a three. So all I'm doing there is beginning to change up my inversion. I start kind of low, and then I shift it up an inversion, and then I finally go one more inversion and add the octave up top. I'm doing some embellishments moving in the blue scale, and in the blue scale, you're going to have a flat third, you're going to have a flat seven as well. And so that's the reason you'll see me do kind of move from that A flat up to A. Doing little embellishments like that is definitely very characteristic of kind of a gospel, soul, blues kind of flair. And so there's no real hard and fast rule of what you need to play right there. It's really just more of a felt thing. If you're not comfortable doing those embellishments, just pulsing your chords, doing the little walk up will definitely help it give it that flair. Making sure you hit the right chords, the B flat, D flat, E flat, and then finally the F. At the very end, I just do kind of a, uh, a basic um, blues run down and we play the F. And so basically that's part of the blues scale. And then I come up and in on the A and just kind of roll on the E flat. And so that's the vamp section at the end of the song. Now you may choose to do this section, and if you don't, you can always just end it on the F after the last chorus. But if you go into that vamp section, adding in some of these little uh, nice little character um, characteristics like that will definitely help the song. Now I'm not giving a solo walk through this tune because you can take all the techniques that you've learned right here and apply it if you have to play it by yourself. I would just encourage you to just try to fill out your chords a little bit more, give it a little bit more rhythm in order to help move the song forward. Now make sure you take a look at all of your sheet music down below, work through the loop video several times and then start over and work through the music video just to make sure you've got it up underneath your belt. But don't forget to have fun and always bring your best.